to my channel so we're back in my room yay um, as you guys can see my new filming setup it's still in the progress of you know putting things together hanging more pictures up and I'm still working with the lighting and the angle that works best so just bear with me Tell me what you guys think down below in the comments because I'm really really excited about this so um, today I'm going to be doing my October favorites and my October empties so I put them together and we're calling it October's empties and Babies. I just thought I would try something different today and I couldn't go another day without filming so even though my setup's not complete yet and I still don't know how the lighting's gonna go and stuff um, I needed to film today I was like I need to put something up I miss my viewers I miss talking to you guys so let's get started with our empties because this bag has been sitting in my room for months now and I just been putting stuff so in I'm just going to start pulling stuff out and just tell you guys what I think about these products. This is the Tresemme's Extra Firm Control uh, Extra Hold Hairspray. It's in the black bottle. So this is by far one of my favorite hairsprays from the drugstore. Even high-end hairsprays, this I always end up just going back to give me volume without making my hair feel crunchy or stiff. It still gives it that flexible like feeling. It's really soft and it gives it volume. So I just really like that. So I have two dry shampoos by the same company, their Bastier Dry Shampoo. This one's in Fruity and Cheeky Cherry, and this one's in Floral and Flirty Blush. I love this dry shampoo. It's only $6 at Ulta. It's super cheap and expensive, and they smell really, really good. They have it for blonde hair, brunette hair, and for all hair types. I normally just go towards the all hair types because obviously I don't even know what color my hair is right now. It's like blonde and brown. Yeah, tell me what you guys think because I've been putting more blonde in my hair. All you do is just hold it about six to eight inches away from your hair and spray it on the greasy part of your root and then just blend it in with your fingers. It instantly gives you a little bit of volume and the grease goes away. So this is my favorite one. In case you guys are wondering, obviously I've gone through two of them. The Paul Mitchell Color Care Color Protect Daily Shampoo. I love this shampoo. This stuff, my hair was so tangly and I kept, you know, putting more blonde in it. So, you know, my hair is getting damaged because I keep dyeing it. So I decided to go to the Color Protect line of Paul Mitchell. I did mention this in a few of my videos, in a haul video and in a favorites video. So I've gone through like a whole bottle. Oh, it's so sad. I did go out and purchase another one, so I'm continuing to use this shampoo. So I do love it and I like the smell too. It's not strong. And the shampoo is the one with the orange cast. Two cucumbers makeup remover towelettes. You guys know that this is a holy grail product of mine. I literally have gone through so many of these. 30 of them in Super here. gentle on the skin. I have very sensitive combination skin, so um, I've never had a problem with these. The only thing is uh, my skin will sometimes just turn a little bit of red because it is cucumber. It is a little bit acidic, so I don't know. It can like kind of uneven your acid mantle a little bit, but then that's what toner is for. So right after I do this, I wash my face then apply toner and then moisturizer. So I definitely do this first in my skincare routine. And I love these. So definitely go check out the Yes to Cucumber line if you haven't already. Just really, really love the smell of cucumbers and I always end up going back to them. I've gone through a whole bottle of the Sun Goddess. My favorite, su I feel like I'm saying favorite a lot or like I really like it. I really like, I've gone through the whole thing. How could I go through a whole product and not really like it? So I have a whole self-tanning video. I'll link it in this video somewhere. And um, I still, to this day, use this. It's how I keep my tan. I don't lay out in the sun, and I haven't been to a tanning bed in a while. So I love this stuff. This stuff keeps me tan, like, all year round. I also have a discount code down in the description bar if you guys want to purchase it. Okay, so then I have the Sweethearts line from Bath & Body Works. This is Honey Sweetheart. Oh, this is a shower gel gone through the whole thing it took me forever like literally probably like four months to go through a whole thing of this just because I don't use a lot I guess but yeah it was okay I mean I love the smell of it but I was kind of like oh I just kind of want to get this over with so I can move on with my life Wait, I have three hand sanitizers in here one is island margarita peach poppy and vanilla berry sorbet out of the three, I would have to say that the Vanilla Berry Sorbet, I got the most hype on. Because every time I put it on, everyone's like, what is that? 
What does that smell? I've through three of these so far. I have one for my freelance bag, I have one on my purse, and I also bring one to work. So I love these things. The empty ones that I've gone through. I threw away some of them. I didn't put all of them in there. I have the ELF's eyebrow kit in medium, and you can get this at Target for about $3. I'm going through many of these for the past two years. So I love this stuff. It's almost two years. And, um,. Yeah, I just, this is definitely a holy grail. I definitely would recommend this to anyone who's just starting out with eyebrows, like working with your eyebrows. Um, they have different shades on the e.l.f. website, but you can only get the medium one at Target. So, um, yeah, I've gone through so many of these. Feed it up here. A soft soap, juicy pomegranate, and mango infusion body wash. That is a tongue tie. So I've gone through one of these. I took this with me to Florida. One of these things lasts me about like three weeks. Yeah, two, two and a half, three weeks, yeah. So I went out and bought the large one of this in a different scent. So definitely like this. This one has beads in it too. So it was really good for exfoliating my body before I put my uh, sun goddess on. So um, definitely good for exfoliation. This is my baby lips. Uh, this is from the original. Uh, this is not the neon one or anything like that. But this is the original baby lips in mint. And it's in the green tube. Went through a whole thing of this. I'm obsessed with baby lips. You guys The last know. thing I thought I would just add in here because I'm almost done with it. I'm about like this much left. I've had this for about two months. It's the L'Oreal Youth Code Texture Perfector. This stuff has great reviews. It's in my skincare routine. It's a serum that penetrates deep into your skin to define wrinkles, um, make, minimize your pores. Even though that is impossible, you cannot minimize your pore size, but it can look like it. So um, I've noticed a difference in my skin. I'm not breaking out as much. My skin feels really soft. So I will go purchase this. First, my first impression about it was I thought it wasn't worth the $20 because I was going through it like crazy. I was about to here on just a month and I would only use like a pump and a half. So, I don't think I was using that much, but yeah. I, but I made it last for about two months, and I still have this much left just because I'm like, oh, I just, I don't want it to go away. Let's move on to my October favorites. I just have a few things, so this video isn't extremely long. The first two things I want to talk about are my favorites, and they're the Baby Lips New Neon Chapsticks. One is in, I don't know, it's the green one, it's the mint one, and the other one is the yellow one, and it tastes just like Fruity Pebbles. Oh my goodness. So these two go on clear, but I did have one of my friends come up to me, and she has this one, the yellow one, and she said she put it on, wiped her mouth with her sleeve, and it like stained her sweatshirt. So... I thought they went on clear, but apparently they do transfer in color, but they do like appear clear on your lips. So um, this one, the green one is like minty and then the yellow one tastes like Brady Pebbles. So these two are my favorite. I bring them to work in my purse, all that stuff. Lip product. My go-to nudes for this month. You guys know I was going through a phase where I just want to wear nude lipsticks all the time. Um, today I'm actually wearing like a pinky nude. It's Cream Cup from MAC, but when I want to go nude nude, you know? Revlon lipstick in soft nude and I've been also wearing this chroma joint stick in modern mauve now I don't know why it's called that because it's not mauve at all it's completely like a pale nude and on top of these two because the soft nude is more of like a dark nude and the chroma one is more of a lighter I've just been loving this NYX Mega Shine Lip Gloss and Sugar Pie. I wear this on top of lipsticks, like my nude ones, or I just wear it by itself. Like, this is the best nude. Just, it's amazing. So, I'll, I'm sure I'll show swatches of it as I'm talking. This, this amazing little guy. This is the NYX Wonder Pencil. This is like a concealer, a highlighter, whatever you may need it for, it does the trick. You can put it on your cupid's bow to make your lips appear bigger, or you can put it over your blemish. It's so great for emergencies to throw in your purse. I've been getting used that I would put it underneath my eyebrows to make my eyebrows stand out more. It's seriously amazing. So I definitely recommend going out and buying one of these. They're super cheap. I think it's like two or three dollars and they have them in three different shades. So 
definitely been one new, like I thought this was gonna be nothing like I was just like oh, I'll just pick it up but it seriously became one of my favorites this month so look at the two things are from MAC this is the MAC Omega eyeshadow even though I've been using my elf little eyebrow kit for the longest time for seriously years like I just told you guys I decided to switch to a lighter shade because the medium was so so dark because that was when I had brown hair now that I have like blondish hair I have to switch up my eyebrows so I'm using Omega it's just like a really light um, brown color that I've just been using on my brows and that's pretty much all I use on my For brows. For the longest time I didn't understand the hype about a MAC paint pot. Like I just didn't care. I was just like oh everyone uses it so what's the point. But seriously I went to MAC the other day, picked up a paint pot, I used it just as a base onto my eyes and I was like oh my goodness. It totally got rid of my purple redness on my eyelids and just made a really really nice base to put eyeshadow on. Now I do put powder to set it on top so it's completely flawless so it has like a nice base to put my eyeshadow on. This stuff is amazing. I use it like by itself when I go to work and I don't want to use eyeshadow but I still want to conceal like you know my redness and stuff. I'll put this on top just by itself and just wear like eyeliner and that's it. So this is definitely, I got mine in Painterly. Um, yeah. Phenomenal. I don't know if you knew, but like I don't work out at I've all. I've always been the type of person that I could eat whatever I want and I don't really gain that much weight at all. So I was just like, eh, I don't need to work out. Well, I'm going through a phase that I'm like, okay, I need to start working out. I'm getting there. I'm, you know, I don't know. I'm like, I'm getting a little older. Maybe I should start working out and being grown up. I was like, no, I'm going to join a gym. Joining a gym, seriously, is so expensive. It's like $20 a month for like three years, and their contracts are so serious. Instead of joining a gym, I decided to pick up these DVDs on Amazon because it was just so much cheaper. And Julianne Huff is one of my woman crushes, so who doesn't want to have a body like Julianne Huff? I'm just saying. So I picked up these Dance with Julianne Cardio Ballroom and also the Dance with Julianne Just Dance. I have been doing these. I was trying to do it like every other day. But I've been so busy lately that I need to get back in the swing of things. Just within doing these things like three times a week, I could feel it like in my butt and in my legs. I was so sore. So yeah, I just, I've been liking these. So I just wanted to share them with you guys. If you are looking for like a new workout routine to keep your heart rate up to, you know, tone everything, definitely check these out. I think you can like YouTube them and watch different clips of these. See if you guys like it or go to Amazon and just get them because they're like $5 each. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry if it was terribly long and I'm kind of out of the routine of doing things so I just keep babbling. But I hope that you guys enjoyed my October's empties and favies and video. I also want to say that the giveaway winner for my fall inspired giveaway did not contact me. I gave her about three weeks to answer and um, I even messaged her myself saying that she won and she still didn't reply. So sadly I have to pick another winner but congratulations to the new one I'll put the winner down in the description bar as promised so as soon as that person messaged me I will mail your stuff to you so congratulations also I just want to say a big thank you to everyone because you guys have been so patient I know that I haven't been putting up videos as constant as I used to so I just want to apologize and say that I'm so sorry and I'm I don't know, just a lot of things is going on as you guys can see in my updated video. I'll link it right here in case you guys missed it. But I do want to just say a big thank you. So yeah, I love you guys and um, I really appreciate you guys sticking with me and watching my videos. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you aren't already. And I'm just babbling now. So I love you guys so, so much and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye! her hand with her sleeve, wiped her hand with her sleeve. And then here, they're super, they're super.